the articles ang and nang. The word ang functions like the English definite article the, while nang may be translated using the English preposition of, or the indefinite articles a and an. 1. Rules for using ang and nang. 1. Ang is used a. To introduce a common noun as the subject of a sentence, ang is similar to the English definite article the, in this case. Ang bata ay mabait at masipag. The child is good and diligent. Kumakain ng mangga ang dalaga. The young woman is eating a mango. B. Place I to emphasize the identity of or mark the doer. Ako ay sumulat ng kwento. I wrote a story. Ako ang sumulat ng kwento. I was the one who wrote the story. Ang bata ay may sakit. The child is sick. Ang bata ang may sakit. The child is the one who is sick. 2. Nang is used, A, to introduce the receiver of an action. Bumili ng pagkain ang babae. The woman bought food. Si Elena ay nagluto ng manok. Elena cooked the chicken. B. To indicate association or possession. Ang ina ng bata ay nagpunta sa palengke. The child's mother went to the market. Ang bahay ng lalaki ay bago. The man's house is new. C. To introduce the doer of the passive action. Kinain ng aso ang tinapay. The dog ate the bread. Binili ng batang babae ang aklat. The girl bought the book. 2. The plural forms of ang and nang. Plural words also need to be introduced by the plural forms of ang and nang. Thus, ang becomes ang mga and nang becomes nang mga. Ang mga bahay ng magkakapatid na babae ay malalaki. The sisters' houses are big. Bumili ng mga prutas ang lola. The grandmother bought fruits.